G'day, how are you going there today? My name is Brendan Morello. I'm from Morello Guitar School and the G4 Guitar Network. Today we're going to have a look at Sweet Home Alabama, the beginning part. So let's start off, let's look at the, the beginning chord. So the big beginning chord's a D chord, but we're keeping our second finger off the first string. So we've just got our third finger down on the second string third fret, and our first finger's on the third string second fret. Okay, so we start off by going down twice on the D string, the fourth string, and then while we hold, hold down the D chord, we go up on the second, up on the third. So it's one and two and. So down, down, up, up. So from there, we take off our first finger from the third string, and then take our second finger across to the fifth string. Fifth string, third fret. So it's gonna go down on the, on the third fret, the C, then up on the open, A, and then back down onto the third fret of that fifth string. So it's so down, up, down. So if we go look at the, those two parts together, Then we go up on the second string, up up on the third string. So as as I know, as I mentioned earlier, we've taken off this first finger from the third string there. So the third string's now open. So it's just third fingers down on the third fret of the second string, and then open G, open third. So it's. So if we put those together, we go. All right. So now the next part is our second finger crawls, goes across to the sixth string, and does the same thing that it did on the fifth string. So it's third fret down, opens, and then third fret again. So down, up, down. So if we go back to that, and now that's the beginning. All right. So let's play that again. Twice down on the open D string, then up on the second and third string, and then take off your first finger. Second finger goes across the fifth string, third fret, third fret down, open, third open fifth string, and then back to the third fret, and then up on the second and third string, and then down on the sixth string, third fret, open sixth string, and back down on the third fret there. So it's. note is the third string it's just open so we've still kept our third finger down the whole time on that second string so second string third fret your third finger is always down there uh, so that that's kind of like as helps you to um, keep your hand in the same spot and for most part we're just moving the first and second fingers uh, so let's play through it again So the next part is we do a hammer on. So what we do is we play the open fifth string, but then we push down with our first finger behind the second fret. It's called a hammer on. So if we add that to the beginning, that's it. So we're playing the open fifth string and then pushing down and sounding out that second note. So with your hammer-ons, if you get your finger just behind the fret, you'll get that louder, uh, a louder sound. If it's, if it's too far away, it's harder to do. So after the hammer-on, we play the open fourth string. So it's hammer-on, fifth string, second fret, then open fourth string, 
So, so back to the beginning. And then the next one's called a pull off. Well, we play the, the second fret of the fourth string with your first finger again. But then we flick off, flick it off. So we don't play the second note, and it's the open D, but we're sounding it out by flicking it, pushing down and then flicking. So it's called a pull off. So you've got a hammer on, and then open fourth string, then second fret of the fourth string, and pull off to sound the open fourth string. And then we go next note back to the fifth string, second fret. But we're only, what we're doing there is we're only playing the second fret there of the fifth string. We're not hammering on or pulling off, we're just playing that note, the B, by itself. So if we look at that part, that's it. So let's go back to the beginning. Good. So there's one more note left, and that's the, the second fret of the third string. So again, we use our first finger, so we're pulling off. So second fret, then pull off. So it's... So, there we go. So hammer on, fifth string, second fret, open D, pull off second fret, back to the the B, 2nd fret, 5th string, and then 3rd string, 2nd fret, all with your 1st finger. So if we go through from the beginning, so that's that's the first part of the, of the riff there. Now, the second time around, so the first time around we go, So the, the next part is a little bit different. So we, instead of doing the hammer-ons on the you know the fourth and the fifth and the fourth string, we go straight to the third string. We do a little run. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that now. So after you've done, so we've gone through the beginning. all of that and then we do twice on the open third string so it's down, down up so then we do so down up on the open third and then pull off on the second fret first finger and then open again so it's twice open pull off second fret of the third and then open third again. And then our third finger goes down to the fourth fret of the third string again. So pull off. And then open third string again. So open third, pull off second fret, and then op op open third again. Fourth fret, pull off of the third string, and then open again. So it's open third twice, second fret pull off, open third, third string, fourth fret pull off, open and then to finish off with our pinky on the fifth fret of the third string, we're going to slide. So get your finger just behind the fret and slide that pinky from 5th fret to 7th fret. So if we look at that part, there we go. So that's, that's the second time around. So if we look at the riff, we go, So I hope that's helped you out.
If you've got any questions, please send me an email at Morello Guitar School. That's all one word, M-O-R-E-L-L-O, Guitar School at gmail.com. You can also check out my website. It's www.morelloguitarschool.com.au. Thanks for your time. I hope you have a great day and uh, happy practicing. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.